Hey, what's going on? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Today, the upcoming feature is on Kyle Edwards, an Alabama 2020 signee staff writer. Tyler Waldrop traveled to Destron, Louisiana to interview what we feel is a very intelligent and articulate running back that had just signed with the Alabama Crimson Tide. He'll be getting here this summer. Very excited to see him in action. Very good video feature. There's a bit of an audio buzz because it was very windy down there, so our apologies in advance. But we hope you enjoy it. We hope you continue to like and subscribe. We appreciate you guys being here. Is there like a moment that you remember when you're like, yeah, I think that's going to be Alabama? Um... It was pretty much whenever they first offered me, like, I just knew straight, straight from the start from right there, like, I knew I wanted to go to Alabama because I always thought about it. I always watched the team and I see how good they are and how much they really train their players and turn them into legends. So I already knew to that moment, as soon as they offered me that first day, like, that's the school I wanted to go to. And then especially whenever I went up there for, like, the junior days and going up to games and stuff, the interaction I had with them and the coaches and the way they interacted with my family and the bond we had straight from the start, like, really, like, sealed the deal that I knew I wanted to go to Alabama. What are you thinking when you when you get the call or or however you're sort of notified? Maybe it was a person that you, you got an offer from Alabama. Um, I remember the day it was like I was walking around school, like classes that just changed. Coach Rope uh, called me over and he showed me the text from uh, Coach Golding, and it was telling like telling Kyle that he received the offer from Alabama, and like I can't even describe the excitement I felt like whenever I heard that because like. To think that a school like Alabama wants to give me a uh, scholarship offer to go play football there, you know, it really like really like shows how much like how much they really want me there, and like they see like the potential I have. So like it made me like feel like really good about myself. Uh, so you said you were at the LSU game. Yes, sir. Uh, that was a, you know, he had a lot of big games on the stretch, but I feel like the, as far as Najee, that was probably one of his biggest. That games. was a crazy game. He was going, he was going crazy. Uh, when you're watching him make those plays. Are you kind of, are you kind of thinking like, you know, man, to be in, to be in that position in this stadium in front of these fans, like, does it does that get you thinking a big game like that? You seen a running back kind of ball out? Yeah, like the whole time I was watching him, like he's like I watched him score like three or four times and thinking like that could really be me out there. Like I had this opportunity to be able to do what he's doing right now, so that really like kind of inspired me watching him play all throughout his season. Cause he really had a great season, so I used him as motivation, like. Uh, go to Alabama and be great right there. What's it gonna be like when that's that like you're walking out in front of you know probably eighty plus thousand people for every game? I can't even imagine because like during the playoffs like the stands were packed and I was thinking like dang this is crazy look at all the people here and then like I'm gonna be going to college to a place like Alabama thinking like like hyped up for the game so I can't wait to experience that. Some days I'll come out here and just like walk around look at the field and think about like all the plays I made, all the big touchdowns I had, and like remembering the feeling that I had and shared with my teammates, thinking about how we made it to the Dome and like winning that semifinal game against Houghton, like running around with the flag, my hair is flowing everywhere, crowds going crazy, seeing everybody excited. It's like crazy to think like this is my last year here and um, it's crazy to think about because like I remember coming out as a freshman getting moved up to varsity finally. Like, the very first play I made was on kickoff return. And I made my first tackle, and that's how I earned my stripes. And I even scored my freshman year. And then it's crazy to think, like, I was so excited to score my freshman year. And then you come out your senior year, now you're scoring every game, and you're that big playmaker that everyone's talking about. And, like, getting to share the experience that, like, my brother got to feel in the dome, getting to do the same as him. It's just, like, all, like, exciting to think about, especially being able to go to college. Like, I'm ready for whatever college has for me. I know I'm gonna go out there and do whatever I can to make the team better with anything I could do. But I'm excited. But it's also sad to think about it's my last game. Like it's the last time being here. I'm never gonna play on this field again, but I'm thankful for what the field has brought to me and what the program has brought to me. And I'm gonna use the success that I had on this field and carry it out to Alabama, which is what I'm ready for. Is there like a moment that you're looking forward to the most about getting to Alabama? Like uh, the first time I do this, man, I can't wait. I think it's the first time I run out onto the stadium and hear the crowd yell whenever we run out 
that's the moment I'm most excited for because I can't wait to experience that feeling. That's like, that's exactly what I've been waiting for. Cause like, I remember going on visits and sitting in the uh, recruiting seats and like thinking like, that feeling must be amazing when you run out there with Nick Saban and like hear the crowd scream. Like, I want to experience that feeling and like listen to the music in the background. It's like exciting to think about. That's what I'm like most excited for. Do you, uh, do you get a little nervous thinking about that moment too? I don't get nervous. It's like, I get like, excited like very excited i wouldn't call it nervousness though but like i think like whatever i am out there i will be a little nervous but like it's okay to be nervous because like being nervous just shows that you care you know you got Najee back you got brian robinson there uh you know you were one of i think three guys coming in yeah. this class you know it's gonna be a crowded room at least for a year um I mean, how do you feel about that? Does that does that does that sort of just give you, you know, oh, you know, that's just more motivation for me to, to work hard to stand out? Or yeah, I mean, it was exactly what happened at Death Strand. I remember at one point there were seven guys here as running back, and I was just like this little sophomore coming in, and I was able to like make it all the way to the second string and be able to like make my statement. So I feel like I can do the same thing, even though I know college is a whole different level. I know if like if I continue to stick to what I do and like push myself every single day, I know I can make it there eventually.